Lesson 11 is about all the different surfaces that you can paint on. We're going to look at all of these. I wanted to show you about different substrates. So now I want to paint the same thing on each of the different surfaces. So I'm using a set that has sailboat blue, citrus, and watermelon. And I'm going to try to do the same thing with each one. I'm going to go ahead and pour, use a coffee stirrer to move it, and use a Fantastics to lift a little bit. So let's start out with Yupo 74. So a little citrus, a little watermelon. You can see how they're moving. Use a coffee stirrer to blend it around a little bit. We'll let it dry a little bit and then I'll do some lifting on it. Okay, so now this is translucent. This is 104 pound Yupo paper. And take the coffee stirrer to it. The next is Revolution Never Tear. Looks like the colors are really intense and there's kind of a an edge. Hmm. It's my first time using it. Let's use our coffee stirrer to blend. Pretty similar. The colors are real intense. Let's go to mineral paper. Okay, so we got some kind of dragony on the edges, but that won't matter once you start moving your colors around. Next is freezer paper. Okay, then we'll go on to Terra skin. Kodak Ultima, this is photo paper, photo paper, photo paper. Ultima, HP Premium, HP Premium Soft Glow, Finger Paint, and Corian. And the only Corian I had that's light was used a little bit before, so it's a little bit stained, um, but I still think it's going to be easier to see. So here's Terra Skin. I'm blending. Okay. Very similar. Go to Kodak Ultima. Oops, I'm supposed to start with the blue. Oh, sorry. Blue, zealot, citrus. I think that one's a little bit darker just because I have more red. Pick up a little bit at the bottom here. Okay. Then HP Premium. Next is the HP Soft Glow. It's 
So you can see some of them flow right away. These are kind of falling into each other. But then when you spread it with the coffee stirrer, it generally moves, but this one's really strange. See, it doesn't, doesn't really move. Okay, finger paint paper. Trying to do this kind of fast so you don't have to watch forever. So this guy doesn't move that much. And the color kind of sinks in. Okay, now for the Corian. Okay. Now our bottom row is acetate. So acetate's clear, but it's on, this is on whiteboard so you can see it. Acetate, clayboard, tile, foam core, and whiteboard. Some of the colors are really bright on that acetate. Clayboard. And this stuff's kind of expensive, so be glad I did an experiment for you. These are pretty colors. Foam core. So again, this stays a lot where it is. And last but not least, whiteboard. Be sure to watch part two, where we look at lifting, a summary of all of them, and a cost comparison.